the more I think about why Season 3 and Season 4 of SA was so good, it's kind of because Kirito's not OP. Yes, he is OP in Season 3, but there was a lot of things in the beginning that prevented him from being just overpowering all the time. He did overcome a lot of the challenges, but I think this theme really comes to fruition in Season 4. Bro is benched, everyone else is now getting their time to shine, and of course Kirito's gonna have his glorious moment of awakening and come save everyone, right? That's gonna be even better, but I think that this way of storytelling truly is one of the better ways of doing power fantasy, right? Just like in One Punch Man or a lot of the other shows, you save the hero till the very end. You build up amazing side characters and have them pop off in ways that Kirito should be doing. For example, Climb Bro. Klein showing up at the end of last episode. This dude was pretty much the joke of the group for the longest time. But he's having this moment to shine. Lisbeth also had an amazing moment through the speeds. Eagle actually got his voice lines renewed and things are amazing right now. But no matter what, Leafa will continue to get raped because the author of SAO just hates Leafa. It's kind of wild if you think about how they just maximize the budget. They probably, that's the, probably the most expensive episode too. Right after like a six month hiatus of, you know, part one of season four being done, they come back and they just do that to Leafa. This shit's fucked up. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh shit, recap recline. Eagle! I hope this is not the coolest that Eagle's ever gonna be in this season, but all right, he got his moment too, you know? He saved it, dropped it, and saved Asuna here. Everyone's dropping in. I need the Silica's dragon to get bigger. Pina needs to get on the level of the Integrity Knight Dragons, and I want Celica to rain down breath of flames on them, American. <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth Clutch. Basago is around. <laughs> you know who needs this right now? Leafa. Asuna doesn't need this shit. Yeah, she's going through a lot. She's bloodied up. I get it. She went crazy. But like, I think that Leafa should be the one here that like gets this kind of shit. But she just separated from the pack. Poor Leafa. Yeah, Eugene! Bro, I need Eugene and Dusselvolt to like meet. Like, look at this shit. That's just Dusselvolt. That's the Crimson Knight. <laughs> but this is ALO, you know? Like, they need to meet. Yo, do we see that? Hold on. Is this the one with Dark Yui? I can't tell. It, it might be. I think it has the same band here that I was confused about during the speech. Episode. This is the guy, right? Like, who the fuck is this with Dark Yui? Let's go, Clyde. Clyde and Aegil. End to eternity. Eternity? What is eternity? <laughs> you converted your precious characters, even though you might not be able to go back. Which means, if they die, there's a chance that the account gets lost, but the way that Asuna's saying it makes it sound like they're just gonna die forever and you can't ever go back to real life. <laughs> oh no, our video game account! Oh no! That's right, Elizabeth. Silica doesn't even say anything. <laughs> no lines. Dark Yui and... ゆいちゃんで来てる人たちのことを一生懸命説明してくれたんですよ。ありがとう、ゆいちゃん。お、ウォルスゾーラ。様、その方たちは一体。サマ、その方たちは一体。サマ、その方たちは一体。サマ、
アスナ様以外はみんなあの恐ろしいリートレットよろしくね、キシ君シリカですよろしくお願いしますそうかそうキューツはいリズ、コンバートしてくれた人たちの数はあ、頑張ったんだけど話を聞いてくれた人たち全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員全員あまり前線を広げないで、ここに避けて、支援部隊を作って。OK、サポートユニット、任せとて、ベンチ、治癒術を使ってください。リアルワールドの剣士たちは、神聖術に不慣れなので。あ、はい、アスナ様。私は。ソードランズ。これは、バンチャーのエディット。What was this? This dude's getting rizzed up. What the fuck is going on here? A random ship out of nowhere. <laughs> Yo, the Silent Knights! Oh, of course they got the booty, and she had the fattest ass during that season, t o bro. <laughs> I remember they always. I, I think we call it yoga pants, too. Coffee pasta. <laughs> Things are looking pretty good. A lot of armpit service there, but stop. You're monologuing. You know what's gonna happen? All this triumphant moment is gonna get stopped immediately by Vasago. Vasago about to drop in, bro. Okay, outside, outside. Ocean turtle. That's so. Masaka, I t e s a n g a Yeah, I would have never guessed that. Yui. That's pretty much all leaked. That's right. Alice is synthesis 30. She's her own person. They're respecting it. When is Kirito showing up, man? Oh, wait, 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 what was that? <laughs> what? Kirito moving? Wait, 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 wait. It's a flock light monitor, but I see different signals, meaning Kirito's about to wake up? Is that happening? Is it time for the hero to show up? Fuck, his connection, bro. The controller's almost plugged back in. Wait. <laughs> okay. The big one was when Asuna dropped in. And then this one is Shinon. It's a little smaller of a reaction than compared to Asuna. <laughs> But in my head canon, this is when Asuna visited. <laughs> this is what Shinon. I love Chino. I love Chino. I could honestly argue that Chino is a better girl than Asuna, but I mean, the graph is saying something else, man. Yes. Asuna and Chino. It means that he's reacting to the girls, the connections. <laughs> I love the author has the presence of mind to call out his own bullshit. It's like, no way, I could never be repaired by something so poetic. <laughs> the image. But Asuna and Shinon, those are the things that defines Kirito. All those different interactions and memories that we've had since season 1, 2, and beyond. Wait a minute! Back up, Fluck Light, copy Fluck Light? What are you talking about right now? I, I don't know. Is he hinting at Dark Yui right now and the other character that dropped in? If there was a back, it would be impossible to figure out stuff in Scott. Something else is happening here. Where, where is it? s The only thing I can really connect to is like the Dark Yui. And then what is that? Like Dark Kirito? Does that even fucking make sense? I'm listening. <laughs> oh, no. 
tell me. The subject and the object. The you who exists in others. Multi dimensions. What are you talking? The you who exists in others. What are you talking about? The sense of image. The way that you're perceived in others. Backup self image. What? Since when? Since when? Oh, borrowing again, like, right? Those strong emotional connections from Yoshino and Asuna stuff. Inside those flux lights, you know, there is the Kirito that we can use as backup to fucking implant it into the current Kirito. Is that what they're getting at? Yeah. Leafa and Shino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a sense of Kirito in other people's flux lights because of the deep bonds and memories that they've shared. We have the STO connected to Shinon and Lifa. All we have to do is use that as a backup image and fucking implant it back up to Kirito. Yeah, I think that's what they're saying. No, no! You think Critter will do it for us? Hmm. Are you really gonna sit here and call this logic bullshit? And like everything up until up now was fine? Like reading the soul called a fluck light to get into the simulation of this game with this. All of that was fine. But suddenly, this logic is not fine with you. Okay, okay, for sure. Uh -oh. Oh, あんたはワールドに退部してる間に治療を行くせよ、キクさん。I can totally see see he got that. But like, who is there right now? It's just Critter. Maybe there's other members that we didn't see that was part of the, you know, force that went in and took over the main control room, but uh-oh. We also have a drone, right? Pika has a drone that can maybe help him too. I'm, I'm, he got 100% gonna die at this rate. The drones send the drones. The prototypes. Let's go, Ichimon! You just need to believe in Ichimon. Yeah, they might be scared of Ichimon. That's like bluff with Ichimon. So Ichimon decoy, then Higa goes to Kirito. How about Sanemon? Yeah. Nemon fucking sucks. Higa gonna die. Higa gonna die. Higa gonna die. Higa gonna あんな I just feel like this guy's gonna die. He got inspired by Kirito. Who's this guy? Okay. Oh, yeah. 
or fucked or cooked for cook. You see that hair? You see that hair? Rat hair. Rat tail. Vecta. Not Vecta, but the four gods, remember, in the beginning? The origin guy who introduced the sin. There's a rat amongst us. The one person that Asana literally walked across and saw that rat tail was this guy. Higa is cooked. Higa is cooked. This is the fucking rat. We're fucked. I hope he takes a bullet. Yanai. All right, name mentioned. Nah, this guy has been suspicious as fuck. He is the one person that seems to be the rat amongst everyone based on these things that we've seen. The one clue is Asuna's sus look as they walk through the corridor and how the tale relates to one of the four people that fucking, you know, went in to populate Alex's session simulation. It's gotta be him, right? What the fuck? So loud for no reason. Okay, Berkeley Vecta. Oh, shit. The animation quality. Oh my god. Okay, they're fucking going all out. The visuals look way more bolder, you know? Like, the lining, the shading. Vect is kind of OP, bro. Damn, that entire sequence is crazy. But what do you think they spent more money on? This clash between Berkeley and Lord Vecta, or Sugu getting graped. I'm willing to say that Sugu getting graped was the most expensive budget scene in all of SAO, man. It does feel like a different studio did this. Right now, are you guys saying me like Euphorable is doing this right now? Because I could believe you because the shading, the art, something changed as soon as we went to Vecta versus Berkeley just now. Go Wait! To the past. He's counting. This is when his arm got cut off. So he's cutting the past right now? I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure what he was trying there, but like, imagine if Berkeley was also able to cut the past Vecta. You know what I mean? Like, he found him, and he slashed this Vecta, and the present Vecta takes damage or something. He's counting! He's counting! Oji-sama, please. You need to, you need to show me your recollection at least. Wait, wait, something's coming, something's coming, something's coming. Woo! Perfect timing. Oh! Yo, that's a direct breath attack with you in his mouth. Like, look at this shit. Did a direct breath attack here. Oh, poor dragon. It's alright, you bought enough time. Damn, hit it! The past! Fun at you showing up out of fucking nowhere! Ugh, did you stop it? Did you, who stopped it? Who stopped it? What, what, did it hit? The slash, the past, right? So he cut the past vector. So what, ha what happens now, right? Like, you cut the past vector. So does he take present damage? That is some insane shit. Okay. I don't believe that Vector's dead here. Or maybe he'll return in his GGO account, but I I'm not sure. Maybe he did beat Vecta here, but uh, that's fucking hype, OG Sama. Okay, okay. Is Vecta actually slain? 
Oh, he's on my lap pillow. <laughs> it's funny to me. Because, like... Lap pillow has been a thing that Subaru gets from Amelia and Rem, but it's like, oh, he's on my lap pillow. <laughs> Let's go. Man. Oh, he said Oto-san there. You hear that? It was not oji on this time, it was Oto-san. Oto-san. Damn. oji is on his last breath right now. He might be dead. <sighs> Come on, closing words. Give her closure. Don't just go away. Rest in peace, Knight Commander. The GOAT, bro. Berkeley was so fucking hype. And Berkeley was also even teased since episode one of season three. At that fucking mountain with the dragon and the blue rose sword, man. This character was so good. <laughs> no, his luck light. And he goes with the dragon, bro. A great way to go. Wait. <gasps> In, in like this ghost form, bro. Whenever Quinella shows up in a flashback or stuff like that, it's so hype, like Kaiba. Oh man. I'm not sure if this means she's alive. It's 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 weird. Like, just like how Higa or Kikoko explained about how, like, there's this backup image in Asna and Shinon and, you know, Lifa of Kirito. This is like a backup image of Quinella and Berkeley. Rest in peace, Oji sama. Come with me, Quinella. Like, genuinely, the Quinella redemption right now? It was even already hype when we had these backstories for Shaita and Renly and other times. See, like, and as we realize, as soon as season 4 starts, how shitty these people are and Quinella did nothing wrong. Like, those monkeys deserve to get sacrificed to turn into giant robots to fight against the underworld, bro. Quinella genuinely did nothing wrong. I still stand by my queen. Yeah, that, that was fucked up. Yeah, and thanks to Quinella, Oji-sama has a daughter, right? Alice. Even though Alice actually had her dad. That dad fucking sucked, right? The real Alice dad at, at, at Rue the Village, bro. That dad fucking sucked. But Oji-sama, bro, thanks to Quinella, this happened. And <laughs> what about Fanatio? You got to see a little bit of her when he used the time splitting Uragiri there. <laughs> that, was, that was the extent of Fanatio. <laughs> he thought about her in that final skill, <laughs> but it's Quinella, baby. Nice ending for Berkeley, man. <laughs> Forgive me, Fanatio. He says that. Poor Fanatio, man. Rest in peace, Oji sama. His incarnation, his fluck light, his soul. Our child. Fanatio is Alice's mom now? Wait, 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 wait. It, it, this isn't implying that she's pregnant, right? Wait, 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 wait. Are, it, it, it is pregnancy? I'm not sure. Because, like, Alice is the figurative daughter. But, like, I don't think Fanatio being Alice's mom really makes sense. But, like, if she's knocked up... <laughs> wait a minute. Alice and you Deadbeat knocks her up, dies, and leaves with Quinella, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Why am I laughing when Fanatio is on the ground crying her eyes out because Oji Sama's dead? Because he knocked her up and left with Quinella. <laughs> oh shit.
It shouldn't be this <laughs> funny to me, man. I'm fucked in the head. <laughs> that baby probably ain't fucking making it out of this fucking full load test. That shit gonna get fucking erased out the fucking trash can. <laughs> the end. Oh, wait, wait. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. Okay, they have bodyguards, right? Yeah. Vector. Confirmed. Confirmed. Wow. Berkeley took down a god account. I mean, if you think about it, Berkeley's power is stupid. Like, literally, you can see it's kind of like Echo from League of Legends in the sense that you can see your past movements and shit. But like, it's different in the sense that you can fucking slice that past shit. Yeah, there's a long fucking cooldown, right? He was counting for the cooldown. But like, goddamn, dude, OG Sama Vector, that's crazy shit. Hi, Joe. いやー、やられちまいましたね。ボルト。状況。え、7時30分に順次投入しました。バサゴのやろうは一度死に戻ったんですがね。いや、なんかやたら。So, yeah. if Vasago and Mr. Miller both dies in the converted accounts, I bet that they're going to lose their accounts fucking forever. あ。ほう、なるほど。GGO baby. よし、私はもう一度ダイブする。Just the ID and password he gave it. I wonder what his ID and password is. An ID is probably like Mr. Miller X Alicia password. Your soul will be so sweet. He's going back in! <laughs> huh? Sub... Uh, Subtilinger? Subtilinger? Sula... GGO3305033 You stung... I can't read this fucking handwriting, bro. What the fuck is Satellizer? Satellizer GGO330. What, what's the password? Yastgitzig. I don't know. The fuck the, what, what is a Satellizer? Subtilizer. A Satellizer. What is a Satellizer? Known as Satellizer. It's just like a, a title. It's like a name. It's like a. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. What, what is this? You're so what? What's the password? You so so sweet? No, it says you S T G G Y. I don't know what this password says, but in my head, it's your so so sweet. Oh! <laughs> Dude, Mr. Miller has some diabolical faces. And like one of the coolest shit, one of the coolest shit. Yeah, yeah. He was the first DJ winner. He was under Satellizer. One of the coolest shit. <laughs> It's like, you know when Vasago also had his own scene at the post credit scene? Walking like fucking Muzan at the end of Hashira training arc? <laughs> Mr. Miller also just post credit scene these dudes that got kicked out of their god accounts and have to fucking go back into their GG accounts. That's such cool moments, man. And that's today's episode of SAO. Fuck, this shit's so peak. It was unfortunate that Leafa got graped last episode, but hey, we're back. All the gang is back. Sleeping nights are popping off. Everyone is popping off. Eagle's getting more lines. And there is this mystery person in the bag who seems to be Dark Yui and Dark I'm not sure. Is it supposed to be Dark Kirito? Because who else would Dark Yui be with if there's supposed to be some sort of counterpart? He has a lot of uh, pseudoscience going on to figure out how we can get, you know, Kirito back based on those readings when he saw Asuna and Shinon. And basically... In uh, through an STL, if anyone is connected to an STL, they can then use the memories of Kirito within their Fluck Light and use that to fucking help Kirito. And now we need to get there to the main control room in order to do that extraction shit. And Higa is going down with Mr. What is this dude's name? Uh, Yanai is something. And Yanai is the dude with the rat tail. This dude is the fucking rat. He fucking leaked this shit. I don't have any good feelings. I hope this motherfucker dies, though. I hope he takes a bullet for Higa and Higa survives. Now, Vecta versus Berkeley. Someone said that this shit's ufotable. I think you might be cap. Maybe it's just A1 picture just going crazy. So he was basically just looking for the past Vecta, right? Just going around place, place, trying to figure out where it could be. There's like a long cooldown. His dragon clutches multiple times and he defeats a god account. And then, bro, the Quinilla image that he had as they ride off into the sunset and then tells Fanatio, hey, I knocked you up. I'm dead though. Good luck with the baby. Then Fanatio's crying on her knees and I'm laughing at her because this shit's fucking hilarious to me. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. Until next time.
take care.